Hello everybody, today's video is just going to be kind of like a vlog video. Um, I'm sorry that I've been away for the past uh, two weeks. Uh, it is because I actually did film a vlog video of like my day in the life and um, my daily routine. But for some reason, I can't upload that. Um, so I'm gonna, I gotta try to figure out what's going on with that. Um, but in the meantime, I've kind of just been um, really sick, if you couldn't tell by my voice. I have like a really bad chest cold. It's terrible. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna give you guys an update on what's been going on with the pet room because it has been kind of getting a bit nicer, nicer every time that yeah, you guys see it. So I want to show you that. So when you first kind of walk in, you don't really see much that's like going on. It still looks like a grungy basement. <laughs> um, but what I did was I moved my black rug over here um, to make this this little area feel a bit more roomy, um, so I could sit there and kind of uh, interact with the chinchilla and the rats. And then over here on Lemmy's um, area, I have um, I have like a basic sheet down, um, a fleece blanket, and this frozen blanket that the kids weren't using anymore, um, as well as some toys. And under here, I actually have um, like those foam tiles that you see. I guess they're kind of like foam mat tiles. I don't know how to explain it, but they're like puzzle type. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, so that it's more comfy for Lemmy. I don't want him walking on this gross floor. He can if he wants to, but I want to keep it more comfy for him, I guess. <laughs> and over there is his litter box with his uh, little hay holder that I made. It's like one of those plastic bag holders uh, that I kind of just stuck to a tile, which is that which actually fit perfectly there. And then here I have his all his stuff. I have his food bowl and he's looking for food. He's really hungry. <laughs> and then up here I have some posters to kind of cover up that ugly wall. Which I'm going to actually be getting like a big huge tapestry type thing uh, to cover up this whole wall and make it nicer. And then over here I have his box and some toys. And then I have uh, the rat's things. So this is the rat cage. I just recently cleaned it a few days ago so it is kind of nice kind of <laughs> and I don't know if you guys know but unfortunately tinsel was euthanized uh, for her big tumors um, so that's new so there's only two rats in here which is sage and uh, wonder child and they're, they knocked over their house so I gotta fix that and then here I have the regular three girls and then over here I have Gracie I have to clean her cage today because it is a disaster. I also have to uh, give her a dust bath. I haven't um, given her her dust bath in a while because, because she was actually having like respiratory issues. Um, I don't know if it was because of the stress and uh, moving uh, but I kind of held off on the dust bath for now because of that just in case and she's gotten much better so I'm gonna uh, try with the dust bath now and I definitely have to clean her cage really bad as you could see <laughs> hello Gracie and here's Lemmy he's his normal little butt <laughs> and you guys are probably wondering what's going on over here so I have the shop vac. Um, I'm replacing the shop vac with a normal vacuum, which is over there. I've cle I cleaned the inside, so it's kind of taken apart. There's part of it right there. <laughs> so I'm kind of get getting rid of this because it doesn't really work well. It hurts my back. And then over here I have my utility sink, which I clean all the animal fleece and um, hammocks and stuff. So that's right there um, drying. It's actually dry right now. I have a towel under there so that it can drip. And I usually have this area blocked off when it's um, actually wet. And then up there I have just some supplies. And then in here I have liners and hammocks. You guys already seen all this. These drawers are really hard to um, open and close. <laughs> and then my sewing machine. I've started sewing right on here. 
And then it has just some empty areas and then some storage. And then over here I've also been drying some hammocks. Not hammocks, uh, well, hammocks too, but cage liners. <coughs> and then I have um, lots of tunnels everywhere. And cat balls and more tunnels. And then over here I have my fridge. So in this fridge I keep uh, veggies and stuff and just some random stuff. And here is my rat calendar. So cute. That looks like pepper and pudding. Which well, unfortunately passed away a while ago. Uh, they're, they're not them, but it looks like them. And then I have a speaker when I'm cleaning. I also have Lemmy's bed, which he loves to sleep in. And Lemmy's litter. And then over here I have some treats. So I have Gracie's treats right here. Lemmy's treats. Uh, that is the rats. All of these are the rats' treats. Um, some cleaning supplies. Some more cleaning supplies. That vacuum that I was talking about. And then over here I just have lots of storage. <coughs> I'm really sorry about this cough. It's terrible. And it, oh, it hurts so bad when I cough. Um, I actually I don't know why I put that there. I think I was cleaning. Put that on the floor. Uh, so this is Gracie's little bin cage, um, which I use to transport her places, like the vet or wherever. And I have like this baby gate so Lemmy can't get back there, because back there is just under the stairs scariness. <laughs> and then over here I kind of have more um, storage and supplies. I have Gracie's dust bath, all the animals' foods, all the haze. Um, just ran a picture to the carriers and then I have some boxes which I use for the rats the rats could go inside it and play and this is like their play area which I usually have blankets all lined up but I was cleaning here so it's kind of a mess but this is where the rats come to play and they could come in here and there is like a little hole that they could go in all these boxes and then here is just some more storage which has like nothing in it <laughs> And then I have office supplies, and then old kitchen supplies that I don't use, obviously. And Lemmy is looking for his food. <laughs> I should just feed him. So he stopped bugging me. Lemmy's food is in the blue. And I kind of use this little uh, metal bowl to kind of scoop a bit. I usually give him that much. He usually gets more veggies and hay than, than pellets. And he'll he'll sit there for about 20 minutes and eat that. <laughs> and he won't move for a while. So yeah, that's basically what's been going on with the pet room. Um, it's it's getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> and it's just, um, you know, it's a place where I like to kind of hang out. It's nice and cool down here. Um, so it's been really hot lately. And um, I've been enjoying the uh, coldness down here. <laughs> I keep it cold down here just because um, Gracie, Gracie needs to be cold at all times because she's a chinchilla, obviously, hello, and it does not affect the rats at all. Um, if I do find that it is getting really cold down here, I do put extra blankets and stuff, but it doesn't bug them whatsoever. They're happy. They're happy little guys, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always scared to stick my finger in their cage because these guys are evil and will bite my finger. But these guys are super sweet. <laughs> and Gracie. Here we go. Some nose scratches. So yeah, that's basically this uh, boring video. <laughs> if you like the video and want to see more of the pet room, please like, please subscribe, and please comment. And tell me what you guys... Um, would like me to do with this room because it's kind of a disaster. I rent this place so I can't put nails in the walls or anything. Um, so something that is uh, that can be torn down really easily and won't destroy anything. Uh, I, so I would like some suggestions on that. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. They're fighting. Why are you fighting? Stop it. <laughs>